Hey guys, what's up? It's Vinayak here and in this video we're going to be designing a flight controller by using MATLAB and Simulink. We'll be designing it in the frequency domain by using a body plot method. This method is very popular in control system design and we'll be using it to determine things like overshoot, damping and so on. For this system we'll be using a flight control example for an aircraft pitch and I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can do this in Simulink. Let's get started. So for this example, we'll be using a controller to control the pitch angle of this airplane here. The problem is that we have to input our elevator deflection because in aircraft, the elevator controls the pitch. We can represent this by a transfer function, which is used in a standard control system. This will be a linear system and you can see the transfer function here. Next, you have the design parameters. We'll be using an overshoot of less than 10%, a rise time of less than two seconds, a settling time of less than 10 seconds and our goal is to obtain a steady state error of less than 2%. We'll be using a step input and the response looks like this for a typical control system based on the controller you have obtained. Our step input will be point to radians which means that we will command the elevator to deflect point to radians and we will our goal is to actually have the aircraft pitch the same value. So, we can use the frequency domain and let's do a recap. It is simply how quickly a system responds to a sine or a cosine wave at a specified frequency. Frequency is how many times a wave repeats per second. Waves also have an amplitude, which is the height of the wave, and a phase, which means how much it has shifted left or right. You can do this by a body plot. So, the body plot plots the amplitude and the phase response of a system at many frequencies, which you can decide. The gain margin is how much more gain we can add until the closed loop system becomes unstable. So it is sort of a safety window in control system design. Similarly, you have a phase margin, which is how much phase you can add before the closed loop system becomes unstable. An important thing to know is that the more phase margin you have, the better, which means that you will have less overshoot in the system. So you will have a more stable system. The first thing you do when you open MATLAB is let's define the transfer function. So type in O loop and then brackets, open bracket, the numerator and then close bracket. And then once again, put the denominator in there, as you can see here exactly. When you do that, you can run this and you can verify that MATLAB has used the correct transfer function. Next, we can plot a step input. So we have an input of 0.2 rat per second. So just type in 0.2 times O loop for 10 seconds. When you run that, you will see that the amplitude of the system goes and diverges. It does not stabilize at point two, it goes much beyond that. So which means that we have to define a controller for this system, right? Also, if you look at the root locus by tapping in R locus in brackets O loop, you will see that the function has a pole at the origin. And this means that the system is marginally stable or also unstable. Next, you can also do a closed loop feedback. So type in C loop equals feedback O loop comma one. And when that's done, you can also find the pole of this closed loop system. Let's just check that first. And lastly, we can plot the root locus by tapping in R locus of this closed loop system. When that's done, you can see now that the pole has moved away from the origin towards the right side, which is the stable region, which means that the closed loop system is stable. Next, we can do a body plot of the open loop system because body plot lets you do a frequency response at multiple frequencies. When you do this, you will see that you have the gain and the phase showing up in MATLAB. Right click and grid. Let's activate the grid. You can also define and show the margins. So right click and select minimum stability margins. When you do that, you will see that the phase margin is showing there. And the closed loop system is verified as stable by the body plot. So we have a phase margin of 46.9 degrees at, you know, at some frequency there at about 1.27 rat per second. And the gain margin is infinite, which means that the closed loop system is stable. Doesn't matter what gain you put, it'll always be stable.
Next, we can investigate in Simulink. So open Simulink by tapping in Simulink and then pressing enter. Then make a new file and drag in some blocks. Now let's go into continuous and drag in the block transfer function as you can see here. So this lets you define a transfer function in Simulink. You can also drag in some more blocks. For example, the sum block because the sum lets you do feedback and scope. So scope lets you see the output of the system. You can also drag in the step input and then just use it for one for now. But here you can make it point two and leave the time as one second. So let's define the transfer function in the exact same way you did it in MATLAB. So you basically just put the coefficients and not the S value because that generates automatically. So do that for the numerator and denominator and press apply. And when you adjust the transfer function, you will see that it has come, come up there. So let's press play and then also we can verify that the system here is indeed unstable for the open loop situation. So let's do some feedback and apply a feedback of one. So you don't need any feedback gain in this case and we can just drag in it like I'm doing in this situation. So when you let's first define a linear analysis So right click linear analysis points and then select input perturbation next to the step function and then go into the output also right click that linear analysis points and then select output measurement because that is what we measure correct run that and you will see how it is now kind of, kind of converging so we but we can actually actually define some stuff right so let's let's do some analysis now so analysis control design linear analysis and when that opens up click step because we want to see it for a step input. And when you run that, you will see that this is what the function looks like now. So it does indeed converge to point in one in this case, but it takes a long time. Press right click and grid and characteristics, rise time, steady state. So from this Simulink lets you find the steady state and the rise time. So when you hover over that block, you have a rise time of 1.79 seconds and also a steady state time or a settling time of 35 seconds. You do actually converge to one, which means that you have a, a zero error. The reason why you have a zero error is cause it's a type one system. So we can do some more analysis here. Let's also drag in a gain. So the idea now is to use a compensator. So we have to first drag in a gain block, right? And let's first add some gain to see what happens. Let's add 12. Now this value can be chosen by you it does not need to be a perfect value but it's just some gain so we can see what the system behaves like now but first let's actually go into matlab and use and see what this gain is doing the gain will shift the body plot to the right and you will have a decrease in phase margin i will show you guys what i mean right now so k equals 12 and just do board of k times open loop you can put hold on there to see both the graphs on the same graph when, when you run that you will see that now the gain plot has shifted to the right and you actually have a decrease in phase margin so when you right click characteristics stability margins and when you go towards the second plot in brown you see that the phase margin has now decreased and this is because at the gain you have a decrease in phase margin so this decrease in phase margin is not very good and the reason why is because you have overshoot now in the system so go back into Simulink and I will explain why that happens. So let's run this one now with the K of 12. And once again, do the same thing. Analysis, control design, linear analysis. And when you open that, you can press step input once again. You will see that now we have an overshoot. So what I'm saying here is that when the phase margin decreases, you will have overshoot in the system. You see how we have a 68% overshoot, which is abnormally high. So that means that we have to do something. So we have to design a lead compensator to account for this. We can take a look at the rise time and you see how the rise time has decreased because we have, we actually up the gain of the system and the settling time went down from 35 seconds to 13 seconds. So for this controller, we will use a lead compensator. Our goal is to shift the gain curve to the right whilst adding phase. 
and you do this by this compensator notation as you can see here the k we already have which i set to 12 it is k multiplied by ts plus 1 divided by alpha times ts plus 1 alpha is less than 1 and the maximum phase is given by this sine relationship sine of phi m equals 1 minus alpha divided by 1 plus alpha we also have a relationship between the phase margin and the damping ratio and here it is a complex arc tangent function so what you can do is you can actually use an approximation for values of 0.6 to 0.7 of the damping ratio we can say it is simply phase margin over 100 but first we need the damping ratio which we can find using the overshoot given in the problem So after that derivation, you have the overshoot relating to the damping ratio. We have a damping ratio of 0.59, which gives us a phase margin of 59 degrees and, and which will in turn, you plug that back into the sine function and you get alpha as 0.1. This will create a gain increase of 10 decibels. Now what this means is that the gain will be shift upward by 10 decibels. So we need to find out where on the body plot you will have a gain increase of 10 decibels. The idea is that the, the new gain margin plot, which we will create after we add this compensator, will be shifted by 10 decibels. So you can just find out that now. You simply go on the board plot, which we currently have, and you find out where you will obtain this upward shift of 10 decibels. This will create a shift, and you will now have a new crossover frequency of 6.1 and the idea is that while we have the 6.1 at this very location on the phase plot we want to max out the phase of the system because we want to maximum max out the phase margin so that we can have less overshoot and you do that by this formula here you solve for t as 0.5 by using omega m as 6.1 and alpha as 0.1 let's type in the compensator and plot the body plot including the gain so you will see now that when you do this the body plot will be shifted to the right you can see that the gain plot has shifted along with the phase margin which has increased and this will enable us to reduce the system overshoot and that is something that we are planning to achieve anyway so when you do this you can go into Simulink and let's add this compensator which we have designed in a similar manner and just drag that in to our control system here so this is our completed system we have all the elements of a lead compensator inside of a closed loop system when you run this and when you do another linear analysis you can see that when we plot the step response we do have a significantly much better system you have about a very less overshoot now along with quick settling time we have about 0.1 seconds of rise time which is good the overshoot is just above 10 percent so we can adjust this a, a little bit now along with the very quick settling time of seven seconds which means that our system settles quite quickly so um this is in this is not yet perfect we can still do some more improvements to reduce the overshoot below 10 percent because that is what the problem specified so this will mostly be a trial and error function now we just need to adjust the numbers inside of the compensator to achieve this so i will let you guys do that on your own but the majority of the system is stable so we do have that so i'm going to reduce the gain by 10 and let's see what that does so reducing the gain takes us to about 12% overshoot which means that we have more phase but the settling time did go up a little bit to about 9 seconds so we have to play between reducing the overshoot and increasing the settling time so we have to keep the settling time below 10 seconds and we have to reduce the overshoot this goes to show that no control system is perfect and you will also have things like variations you have to choose between having a very quick overshoot and a very fast settling time 
Overall, my last system was 0.55 over 0.022. That's what the problem did. And you also have less overshoot now at six seconds and you have about nine seconds of settling time. So that is our control system fully designed. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This video was explaining designing control systems by using frequency domain, which is a very popular method. Keep in mind that this only works for linear systems. So for example, if the system is non-linear, it's not going to be as effective and you have to first do a linearization of it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, welcome to my new setup here. I have, I moved for my, my master's degree and I have a bunch of new arrangements done here. So this is my workstation. You can see my joystick, um, my, my gaming keyboard, and also my desktop with my webcam and also my second screen. So this is where all the action will take place and all of my videos will be made. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.